Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're looking at a new Chromebook from Dell. This is their 11-inch Chromebook, and uh, it is a uh, pretty much configured like all of the other Chromebooks out there at the moment. It's got the Intel 2840 Celeron processor, a 2.16 gigahertz, two gigabytes of internal RAM, uh, 16 gigabytes of eMMC solid state storage, and of course the 11-inch screen at 1366 by 768. The screen is actually pretty nice. You get some decent viewing angles on it. It's actually, uh, the angles look better in person than they do on camera here but uh, it's nice it's a matte display uh, good color definition a little too heavy on the blue side for me so the color temperature is a little bit off uh, but it's not out of the realm of what I've seen on other uh, cheap devices the price tag is a little higher than uh, what I would normally see in this space now so this is $259 uh, which costs a little bit more and I, I would line this up with the uh, stream 11 Windows device from HP pretty much the same configuration uh, and that one is 199 with a 32 gigabyte uh, internal drive but I think where the price tag is going up on this is through uh, the rugged design that they've put together here so there is like a rubber bumper all around the side here which is supposedly uh, going to help it if it hits the ground uh, and of course with solid state storage you don't have to worry about your drives breaking so really the weak point uh, is the screen so they've got a pretty decent sized bezel around it uh, plus with this added rugged layer of the rubber uh, border on it as well which helps out a lot uh, they also say that the keyboard is water resistant I did not test that but I guess if you were to innocently pour some water on it or something I wouldn't put it underwater uh, they say it should actually uh, survive that the key spacing isn't too bad on it the uh, keys are smaller than usual but uh, they spaced them out far enough apart that uh, I can type on it pretty well and that actually lines up uh, pretty closely with the uh, keyboard on the XPS 13 that we looked at a much more expensive Windows device but another example of uh, Dell taking keys and making them a little bit smaller but still making them very typeable uh, as for ports you get pretty much what you get on all Chromebooks you got an SD card slot here uh, your headphone microphone jack here HD HDMI, uh, USB 3 power, and then on the other side, you'd have a USB 2.0 port, a slower USB 2 port, a little uh, Kensington lock to lock it down. And what's interesting, this one doesn't have this capability, but there is a SIM card slot uh, right here. So you could use it uh, with a cellular network as well. So uh, not too bad of a configuration. I think it's very rugged. One of the thing that you've got on here that I think is actually a nice feature is that the screen will go all the way flat. And that is another thing that uh, prevents, you know, an innocent snapping off of the screen because it'll pretty much go all the way back to the bottom of your back of your desk um, but it won't go past that so you could snap it past this point uh, but a lot of laptops stop right here and then if you have a kid or something they would just lean on it and push it all the way down and snap the screen off uh, in this instance you can fold it all the way flat here and not have to worry about it so that is a, a pretty nice feature there so let's uh, take a look at its web browsing prowess and see how it compares to some other Chromebooks and Windows devices at this price point so I figured I would start with a little YouTube video browsing here. So we'll go and click on uh, one of the videos on my YouTube channel. You can see how fast things come up. I think it defaults to uh, 480p in this mode, but of course you can go over here and uh, switch it into a higher resolution. So we'll just go and pick the 1080p version, even though we can't play 1080p back on here. But you can see how fast uh, everything comes down over its wireless connection. A little bit of lag when it's first getting going, but uh, once it starts, it'll probably stay pretty steady throughout. Uh, you can also go full screen with it, of course, and get a feel for uh, how that functions there. So pretty smooth video playback, even at 1080p. The display isn't a 1080p display. It's more close to 720p, uh, but you get a feel for uh, how its video playback performance is. We'll do a little web browsing real quick here. We'll hit the uh, New York Times up and see what's happening in the news. If, uh, if there's any good news lately, hopefully there is. We'll see what uh, Mr. Gates maybe is doing with his foundation. And you can see here it does render the page uh, pretty quickly as well, including the advertisements that you may or may not want to see. Uh, so we'll get rid of that real quick and just kind of scroll through the page here. So not too bad. And actually, it's performing a little bit better than I've seen uh, other Chromebooks perform. If we look at our Octane test, which tests how uh, the browser can effectively render things on the screen and also process uh, the JavaScript language, uh, it's actually scoring very high at 8,303. Now, the Asus C200 is a Chromebook uh, configured with pretty much the same guts as this one is, and it performs uh, significantly slower. But what I've noticed is that uh, Google has put in some uh, performance upgrades and optimizations into Chrome OS lately because when I got this device and started doing my tests on it, I was scoring you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of that Asus Chromebook. And then uh, there was an update. I updated, and all of a sudden, I was getting the score uh, that you see here. So I think there's been some optimizations done very recently that really uh, give these Intel Chromebooks a boost in performance overall, which is uh, pretty nice. And it's 
it's actually a noticeable change here. It's a lot more uh, pleasurable to browse the web on this device, and it's now performing uh, pretty much where the Windows machines were. The HP Stream 11 uh, on that test is a uh, Windows device, so you can see it's now pretty much in line with that. A couple other things of note here, the speakers are right front and center here. They're quite loud. They're, they're not all that great sounding, but they're certainly loud enough for a, a kid to hear across a room or something, and maybe even an older person as well. Uh, but the sound is a little tinny, so not the best audio quality that I've seen out of it. But uh, overall, I think it's a nicely performing laptop. The keyboard is relatively comfortable, even though the keys are smaller. Uh, the trackpad's just a little too sensitive for me. It's uh, always uh, registering clicks, even when I just uh, lightly tap it somewhere. So uh, you want to be careful with that while you're playing around with it. But uh, by and large, it's a, a pretty nice device overall. A little too high on price for me, given where other ones are in the marketplace. But I think um, it, it's probably due to the fact that it is you know, working with this ruggedized design. So uh, that is the Dell 11-inch Chromebook, and this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.